Oh, it's test out time. Got our favorite gear in line. Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. We're back in kitchen laboratory today for a new recipe. We're gonna see if we can take the X6200 and the XPA125B and make some power. Let's get after it. What we have is the X6200, of course, the Zygu XPA125B amplifier, the MFJ power meter. Now you can get that from Nisei. And we've got the cell wave dummy load. This is my standard test set. And we are all powered by the Astron RS35A power supply. So we've got plenty of power to get this job done. In order to get the job done, you're gonna need this Zygu L4001 cable. There'll be a link in the description down below. I currently have the amplifier off. You can see that by saying off. And I have the tuner off and that's set to off. And then we have power out set to eight watts. So if we key up, I'm in CW mode. We're getting seven point whatever and climbing and it's doing a pretty good job. There's eight watts. And we're gonna keep going past eight watts because that's how well this radio works. That is CW mode on 160 meter band. What I wanna show you real quick though is this right here. As I change the bands, is there a band button on here? Nope, that's not a band button. There we go. As I change the bands, I want you to look down here because the radio automatically tells the amplifier where to go, which is really nice. We're at 1.8, which is 160 meters. And we go up 75, 80 meters, 3.5 megahertz. And we go up 5.4 megahertz, which is 60 meters. And we go up again, seven megahertz is 40 meters. 10 megahertz is 30 meters. 14 megahertz is 20 meters. 18 megahertz is 17 meters. 21 megahertz is 15 meters. 24 megahertz is 12 meters. 28 megahertz is 10 meters. And 50 megahertz is six meters. And then this has two additional bands, 95 megahertz, which is broadcast FM, and 128 megahertz AM, which is air band. And of course, we're not gonna be able to key up on either of those two, and this amplifier wasn't built for that, so it has no idea what to do. So we'll go right back down to 160. And the radio is currently set to eight watts. And if I key up in CW mode, we saw on the power meter that we went to eight watts. And the radio is showing nine watts, the amplifier is showing nine watts, and the power meter is showing 8.8 .8 watts. So all within tolerances, I guess you could say. Now what I wanna do is I wanna turn on the amplifier. And this amplifier is supposed to have a whole bunch of protection circuits built in. And with the L4001 cable, it's supposed to be able to communicate back and forth to the radio so that the radio won't overdrive the amplifier. The amplifier cannot handle eight watts in. Let's see what happens when we key down at eight watts. The amplifier seems to be not unhappy, but not the happiest in the world. We're putting out 123 watts. Now it should be complaining and backing off the power, but it is not. So let me turn the power down on the radio to five, and we're at 118 watts external, 102 watts worth of amplifier at 4.7 watts of drive. Fantastic. 80 meters, amplifier on, 100 watts out. Sixty meters, amplifier on. One hundred and seven watts out. One hundred and six. It's going down slow, but not bad, since it's greater than a hundred. Forty meters. One hundred and six. One hundred and five. How low will it go? One hundred and four. Staying around one hundred and four and a quarter. Not bad. Thirty meters. 92 watts out. And this is kind of something that amplifiers do. They don't give you 100 watts out on all bands all the time. It's all relative to drive. So let's turn the drive up a bit. Turn it up to seven. And I think we're at maximum efficiency. Up to eight. Yeah, we're at maximum efficiency. We're not gonna get any more out of there. Let's go back down to five where we belong. Sometimes you can get a little more. I don't advise it because this is telling me that it doesn't want to be over five. So why would I give it over five? 14, 20 meters. 98 watts out. 18, 17 meters. 111 watts out. 
15 meters. 94 watts out. 24 megahertz, and we're starting to blink a bit. 12 meters, 113 watts out. I should probably turn that down a bit. Turn it down to four. All right, now we're not blinking anymore. We're not unhappy. 111 watts out. Turn it back up to five for the next band, which is 10 meters. And the auto changed it to six when I hit transmit, but we're still transmitting 95 watts out. And then when I let go, it goes back to 10. If it bothers you, where is it? Let's take it out of auto mode and put it into manual mode. And it stays 10 on the way out, 90 watts out. All right, we're gonna go back to auto mode, long press the band key. We're gonna go to six meters, 79 watts out. Let me see if I can turn this back up again. This did something weird when I was playing with it before. Yeah, now it's switching auto FT817, auto FT817, auto FT817. And that's because the amplifier does have a way to key from the FT817. I've shown that in a previous video. I will link it up there. So with extra power, it does some crazy things. But with the right amount of drive, five watts, it's steady at 78 out. Fantastic. So now I have the best of both worlds. I have a portable eight watt radio on battery power and I have an amplified radio for inside the shack, and I've got a nice pan adapter scope, I've got a sound card, I've got a whole bunch of useful things. The best part about Zygu radios is they offer constant surprise, upgrade, frustration, fun, and utility all at the same time. It works, but it don't work. You might have noticed when I was switching through the bands and doing the key down test that the auto mode was changing bands. I don't think it's doing much damage. It could be because the amplifier has filters in it and it could be using the wrong set of filters. So we could be getting some unwanted harmonics. So it's probably best to use it in manual mode until they come out with the first firmware update and get it fixed. And if you know Zygu, there's probably gonna be about 30 different firmware updates on this thing before it's all done. There's a video right over here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.